standing with Councillor John Watson as part of putting people first. That's a team of independents that comprises John and myself for the Albany Board. I'm a second term Auckland Councillor. So I've been on Auckland Council from day one. From day one, I've advocated for sport. Through the Auckland Plan, making sure that sport was in there, because if you're familiar with the Auckland Plan, that is the plan that is effectively driving much of what Council is doing. Through the budgetary process, and also as a councillor, representing the Council on One Voice, which is a regional sporting group for Auckland. So I'm the one councillor over the last term of council, the first term of council, and in this term of council, that has put my hand up and advocated for sport. So I don't just talk about it, I do it. I've got a commerce degree, marketing, organisation and project management. I'm qualified in business. I've been a coach. I've played a whole range of sports. I continue to play tennis competitively. I play for the Fongaprao Club, which has been two years running Tennis Northern's Club of the Year across a whole range of things. I associate with success. I'm advocating for sport because it's incredibly important for me, it's important for the region, it's obviously important for you. We know about the impact of sport in terms of physical activity, obesity, there are a whole range of compelling reasons for sport. But around the council table, a lot of councillors don't get that. And what you've got in council is you've got cuts. And those cuts are translating down in terms of sport. And depending on who you elect, those cuts are going to even bite deeper. And that may not be apparent, but there are tickets that will be advocating cuts. And I can tell you those cuts will bite into sport. So consider that. At a strategic level, I'm advocating for revenue sources for sport and revenue sources for council generally because sport plays within a larger budget. One of the fundamental problems that we have now, and it's incredibly important, is if you look at the contributions budget that developers pay for a piece of land, you know how much it is for a property? Anybody has a guess? It's a bit more than $7,000 on a $700,000 property, that's 1%. Under the old Reserves Act, you know what it used to be? 7.5%. So can you imagine the impact of that going forward for reserve space, for the things that you locate on new reserve space in Auckland? It's nothing short of catastrophic. So these are the issues that I involve myself in as a councillor for sport and for the region. I'm in there doing it. On a collaborative level, both myself and Councillor Watson advocate with Sporting Codes. So John mentioned we took on the regional facilities, CCO around the stadium strategy, because it sucked. Were there any other councillors that were going to lead that charge? The short answer was no. So what did John and I do? We got in there and we got involved with cricket and league and the Speedway people, not the promoters, the people, the people that actually do it. And we challenged that strategy. And we were successful. Now there aren't too many councillors that can say that they've done that. In terms of a whole range of codes like tennis with Tennis Northern, like hockey with Ricky, like rugby <coughs> with North Harbour, like a whole range of codes, John and I are in there collaborating with those people, trying to deal with the blocks, the issues that they've got around the motorway, the roading extensions, the issues that they may have <coughs> creating new spaces for themselves, the funding issues that they've got. It doesn't matter what. And what's outstanding about myself and John is because we're a team and we back each other, and that's important for, for us, it means we've actually got the capacity to not just take on local issues, but sub-regional issues and regional issues. And I can tell you, there are very, very few councillors that are actually doing that. Scarcely any. And we are. So I would ask you to vote for us, 
and hopefully I'm speaking to the audience that's watching this on a video and it's disappointing that there aren't more many people here because we need sport in Auckland to lift its game. Quite obviously I'm interested in sport getting together within North Harbour and I support <coughs> Harbour Sport but we need to pull the codes together and sport together across Auckland and that's where I'm at because it's not pulling together sufficiently anywhere near as much as it could. One of the concepts that I've got and it's something that I constantly advocate for is we've got the Auckland plan, part of the Auckland plan as I mentioned is sport. But sport and what's around sport needs to be driven from outside of the council. So the sporting bodies, the codes, the people in sport need to get together and collaborate and drive that strategy from the outside. Because from the inside, there's too much emphasis on cost. Selling stuff. So John and I are in there trying to save the golf courses from being sold off for housing. Trying to save bowling clubs from being sold off for housing. Because that is what is happening on an ongoing basis. So you need people like John and myself that aren't just going to talk, but are actually going to take action and be in there doing it. And as a team, as putting people first, that is exactly what we do. We do it. Thank you.